Ahem. <clears throat> What's up, people of the world? This is Megan Alex Swimmer, aka AP3 Jumped, and welcome to another Casa Grandes episode review. Today, I'm reviewing uh, one of my favorite episodes that I came out the, for the, for this particular week. Um, and, uh, you know, the week that these episodes came out originally. Um, <clears throat> today, I'm reviewing the episode, uh, Guess Who's Shopping for Dinner? Now, um... I had no idea what this episode was about going in because uh, I don't. I'm I'm not someone who likes to read the plot synopses before at the episode's premiere because you know I want to be surprised <laughs> and so uh, if that's wrong I don't want to be right. But anyway, um, this episode was one of my favorites because it really surprised me and because uh, it has a really simple plot. Um, Ryan has to get ingredients for. Um, some kind of dinner that Rosa is cooking. I can't remember what she cooks. I can't remember what she's trying to cook. But Ronnie, but this episode, it's more action. Episode is not. It's um completely uh it completely uh went beyond my expectations. It uh it was like more of an action based episode. Ronnie and trying to find all these different ingredients was. It was an adventure, which I did not expect, and it was awesome. But also, uh, at the same time, Ronnie wanted to go see a brand new movie with her, with her best friend Sid, and uh, well, and uh, also tries to get a chance to uh, meet the. Um, uh, there's also a chance for them to meet the uh, the actress who plays uh, the main character in the, the the movie they're watching. They're they're watching like some sort of action movie or something like that. So um. Uh, it's funny, Ronnie Ann's uh, adventure mirrors that, that action movie quite well, and um, Ronnie has to get these uh, like an authentic in, in, in authentic ingredients is because, well, there's a health inspector, or health inspector, well, not inspector, but there's so, no, it's a food critic, what the hell am I saying? No, the health inspector, that was a Spon that, that was a SpongeBob episode, but <laughs> there's a food critic, right, um, let me take my glasses off for a minute because my head's killing me. Um, there was a food critic um, who, who, uh, that's supposed to stop by, and uh, but Ronnie and wanted, wanted to, who he wanted to see the movie. She just decides to take the uh, easy way out and try to get um, the ingredients like the easiest way. I think she like orders them on. Uh, for, I forget how she gets these ingredients ingredients quicker, but she finds a way to get ingredients quicker. Uh, without getting like the authentic ingredients, but then um. Uh, Ronnie Ann didn't realize that um, if the uh, food, if the uh, if things go wrong with the food critic, then that could hurt uh, Rosa's reputation as a cook. So for like some competition, where I can't remember exactly, but at the end of the day, it if things go wrong, it will hurt Rosa's reputation as a cook. And uh, Ronnie Ann realizes this, so she bolts out of the movie theater. And uh, she just she she apologizes to Sid for bailing on her, but Sid's like, oh, "Don't worry, I'll miss you." <laughs> uh, she's so sweet. Anyway, um, uh, what was I saying? I lost I lost track. Um, so uh, Brian and she's trying to get the 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 uh, the uh, ingredients the authentic way, and um. But yeah, yeah, and, th and that's where the adventure comes in. <laughs> so, uh, and then she makes it all the way back. And uh, long story short, um, uh, Rosa passes uh, the. Uh, she uh, everything goes well with the food critic, but uh, even more surprising, the food critic turns out to be the actress of of the movie that Ryan was going to see. So uh, uh, Ryan did wind up uh, meeting this actress after all, but I guess. Not, I guess Sid didn't. I don't know. That wasn't that wasn't made clear at like at all. <laughs> it's unknown if, if if whether or not Sid got to meet the the actress or not, whose name I can't remember. Ah, uh, but yeah, <laughs> this episode is pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's very memorable. So um. <laughs>
but yeah, that those are my thoughts in the episode. That was great. It really was. It really surprised me, and uh, it was uh, it was a blast to watch. It was not. The, it was not at all the kind of episode I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm guessing I, this is why. This is why I don't read plots of episodes. This is why I do not read episode synopses before the actual episode comes out. Because um, people read this plot, and they thought this episode was going to be really boring. Well, no, turns out it was not. So, um, yeah, I want to be surpri- as, as surprised as much as possible for, for whenever new episodes come out for any show. And so, um, yeah, <laughs> that that's just me. So... Yeah, the, some other things I want to point out that I noticed while watching this episode. There were some really un- also unexpected references, too. Did this, this episode is just, like, surprising in every single way. Like, even with the references. Like, um, they include um, a Pixar Easter egg, actually. This particular um, Easter egg is um, 113, which is... Uh, Yeah, that was unexpected. Um, I think it was on the license plate, actually, <laughs> like in the Toy Story movies. Um, and even more shocking, uh, I'm surprised that this 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 reference was even in the episode. But every time Ronnie got a new ingredient, a Mario coin sound effect popped up, and this happened like five separate times. <laughs> And I'm like, holy fucking shit, that is awesome. I'm very surprised that, that they were even allowed to do that. Like, literally the same exact sound effect from the, from the games. <laughs> like, not, not even referencing, but literally the same exact sound effect. <laughs> I'm very surprised that they were allowed to use that in the, in, in the episode. Um... Maybe they got Nintendo's permission to use that. I have no idea. <laughs> but um, either way, that's awesome. And uh, that really caught me off guard. This episode just really caught me off guard uh, in every single way, but in a good way. And, and uh, it was just a, it was a blast from start to finish, and I really loved it. So, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, if you like this uh, video, then don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you liked it, and ring the bell to be notified of future videos I make. Uh, so, uh, I'm probably not gonna ding the bell every damn time, but, uh, <clears throat> so, my next review will be, uh, um, my last, uh, older Casa Grande episode review I'm doing, and that is, um, the episode's called New Rumi, a uh, very simple title, <laughs> one of the more, one of the more simple, one of the simplest episode titles in the whole series so, so far, I think, but, yeah, um, that, that, look forward to that, it should be like within the next 24 hours or so, so, um, yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, I have a headache because I was working on an, I was working on a project for like almost two hours, and, uh, sometimes when I work on projects, wh- whether I'm drawing something, or I'm doing level design, or editing YouTube videos, sometimes, Time slips me by a little bit, and uh, sometimes I lose track of time of how long I've been working. And every so often, every so often, I need to take a break. So um, uh, anyway, um, just a little behind the scenes uh information. So uh, yeah um, anyway. Once again, I am Alex Swimmer, aka AP Through Jumped. Thank you so much for watching until the end. That is it for me, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Um, I have a, I have a lot of new rev- uh, uh, videos coming out throughout the rest of the month. I have more episode reviews for The Loud House and The Casa Grandes, including The Loud House Season 5 premiere, as as well as um, I'm going to be doing a video with my friend Michael Ray uh, talking about Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Before the game comes out. So uh, yeah. I'm really excited to do that video. And even more exciting is that. Uh, I pre-ordered the, the game. And I'll be able to play the demo. So uh, And I'll be able to talk about my experience. Of the demo. 
during that video. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Look forward to that. I sure, I, I sure as hell am. <laughs>